Hello Universe, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to import non-GoPro still photos into GoPro Studio. Here I have three photos and I'll select the first two. One is an original GoPro photo and the other isn't. I don't remember what kind of camera, so we're just doing this for comparison. We'll change the image size or not, that's not really necessary, but more importantly we need to change the frame rate to two seconds per frame. So we'll try to add both photos over, convert them, and see how that goes. Of course, there shouldn't be any problem. One with being an original GoPro photo, and the other just seems to work. I don't know why. So if we go over, just to demonstrate, there we go. It's there, it's ready to edit, and good to go. However, if we try adding that third photo, I don't know why, but the system just does this every time. So I notice um, if we look over at the original GoPro photo, uh, the resolution is there and we can, we can see the size. So now we can go to this website, there's a URL right there, and we can edit right in the browser. We don't need to download anything. So now I'll select that last troublesome picture, there it is. So here right away you can see that we can choose the maximum output size of the photo we want to export. The width is already 4000 so it's good to go. Now we just need to change the height to 3000 to match that original GoPro photo. Now it's probably showing the whole thing already but I just like to stretch out the canvas just so I can see everything just my own comfort. Next we'll make sure this tool is selected and we'll select um, as much of the picture as we can. So move that over a bit and stretch that out there. Now we'll just need to click off screen and then that prop will come up and say yes we'll want to save that and work with that. Now we can finally save the picture to our own computer. I'll change the file name so I can find it and go for maximum quality. So you'll note I'm saving it to the same folder just so it's easy for me to find. However, GoPro Studio will import both photos at the same time. So it's important to delete or move um, the original photo so it doesn't try to take both of them and start trying to do a time lapse. So we just need to get rid of the other ones since they have similar file names. So back to GoPro Studio and we'll get that new picture that I just edited actually we'll just get all of them So there it is now we can see that the um, file sizes match and we can make sure we like we choose the image size we want it's already at two seconds per frame and then we'll try adding that and converting that and see how it goes there perfect done and just a quick tip, if you didn't know, because uh, the file size, the resolution is a bit odd, since it's very tall, you cuts off the top or the bottom, so you can just use this little thing here to kind of further crop the exact parts you would want to show in your final video. Sweet.